Hi, Jake here. Uh, so let's say you have a series of training videos you either want to sell or you want to be able to show on your website. Uh, well, most web hosts will not be able to store a very large capacity on your hosting site. So one of the best choices is Amazon Cloud Storage. This is effectively like a warehouse for digital products. So instead of a hangar sized building with loads of shelves of books, CDs, DVDs and videos, it's a massive computer storage system known as a cloud on which a single file of each of your products is stored and can be accessed by anyone with the correct codes either from a website link as in the case of a site training video or via site checkout in the case of a purchased product similarly for free downloads so what we do we get onto the Amazon simple storage service known as Amazon S3 uh, login page and we press on create a free account now I'm just going to do that and this is what comes up obviously my email address as I'm a regular user appears so you would just click I'm a new user and sign in using the secure server uh, what happens next is uh, you will get a couple of keys um, which need to be then logged in to sign into your account and then you can access it on a regular sort of basis so I'm going to do that now we'll go back to uh, the login page and I want to log into my management console which comes down here uh, sign into the AWS that's the Amazon Web Service console and I'm automatically there so I just sign in again and here we go now I want the S3 storage these are some of the other services that are available on there if I go to S3 storage here this comes up with a page uh, showing what I've got stored uploaded there. Now there is a tool which I'll mention in a minute or two um, using Java to download a bulk load of files but there's a few problems with this so security wise it's not a good idea to do it at the moment. It does mean that um, it takes a little bit longer sometimes but it's better for security. Now the files that you save on Amazon are stored in what are known as buckets and I'm going to create a new bucket and um, this bucket is going to be called get response training so I'm going to type the name in here you use all lowercase and no gaps um, the region I would select is Europe Ireland which is for Europe that doesn't really make too much difference for this particular storage system um, we then put create and it'll create a bucket now we can then get onto that particular bucket by clicking on there on the left hand side at the moment there's nothing in the bucket but I want to upload some training videos so if we press on upload a page comes up where we can select the files so if I add file um, I've got a set of files I'm looking to lo download at the moment called get response training um, because I've been getting this set up beforehand it automatically comes up otherwise you'd be able to browse and go through to um, a desktop or wherever you've stored them so the first one I want to do is the welcome tutorial so we click there click open it then appears on the top just here um, that tells me the size of the file and go down to the right hand side and start the upload the upload will then appear on the right hand side as the screen, uh, the screen splits and this just shows us um, how long it's done and as you see that didn't take very long at all now what I'm going to do next I would like to ideally enable uh, this uploader to be able to do quite a few files at once but since um, Java have updated um, there's been quite a few problems with security on this so the system doesn't seem to work very well and Amazon haven't done anything about it as yet so you have to add, add individual files so what we're going to do here is show you a few more I'm going to do, try and do quite a few at the same time but this is probably very quick and they might actually be quicker than I can select them so we've selected that file start the upload let's select another one this time I want file 3 open that start the upload as you can see they're uploading steadily there and then appear on the left hand side when they're done We'll go now for file 4. Okay. File appears again there. Now we start the upload. Up 
load file 5, add files, open, start the upload and we're getting an, an ongoing commentary down there of the speed at which they're going to um, download. Now I'll just pause the video for a second so you don't need to see me getting the rest in it and show you what we do afterwards. Okay, so I'm just now uploading the last file, which is uh, file 11. It's the last of the tutorials for um, the get response training. Start last upload. That's uh, be done in a minute. It's just off screen at the bottom there, but it'll soon be done, um, and it'll appear on the bottom of the page there. We've got uh, number 10 has gone a bit further up for some strange reason as has number 11 but that doesn't really matter they're all on there now Now what we need to do next so that these can be viewed um, from uh, and downloaded we need to just click on all of them select all like this on the left quite simply and then press right hand click for properties and go to make public are you sure you want to make these 11 items public? Yes, we do, so that they can be downloaded or viewed. Click OK, and then there's another function that comes on the right-hand side, making the items public. All done. Now, at any time, you can uh, get rid of the transfer, show, not show the transfer, so we can um, just uh, clear this side down here. We can whiz down and show what's happening at any stage. Uh, if we don't want to show any of the transfers, we can just click there. So that's how you actually download a series of files onto your S3 storage system. Thanks for watching.